Hello! So before I begin this video, I just want to give a shout out to everyone who ranks one of my shorts. Yeah, I get it, they're short, but it's okay. It is okay. Anyways guys, what is happening? I'm gonna talk about a few plugins that are just essential for just your workflow, your sound design, the way your sound sounds. What am I talking about right now? No, but seriously, just plugins that can really make your uh, song sound a lot better and just cleaner in general. I'm gonna avoid talking about the plugins that are not so important and leave this to just like the essential effect plugins that can really make a change to your sound. But we all know at the end of the day, it's not what plugins you have, it is how you utilize them. And that is more important. So yes, all these plugins are gonna be uh, available inside of your DAW, but it's always great to have that little extra option that can really give you an extra oomph, if you know what I mean. And also before I begin, I wanna say a giveaway time. It is a giveaway time. I'll be giving away a copy of one of the plugins I'll be discussing in the video. So if you wanna join the giveaway, go to my Discord in the link below. I'm also brand new to Discord, so don't roast me if I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting there, but let's dive into the video. So up to the plate first is DS10 Drum Shaper. And this thing is absolutely crazy. I absolutely love using this. I'm gonna be using it on a uh, drum loop I made here, but you can use it on anything like a synth bus or really uh, maybe instruments to really tighten them up too. As you guys can see here, it's a super, super simple interface. And only like three knobs here, but there's a few options. So the bus option, snare and kick. I like to use it on the bus section. And then we can just group all of our drums together sounding like this. But my favorite way to use this is I personally like a really punchy mix. So I like to boost the attack up a little bit. And then I also like to put the sustain down because I like having those like tight drums with like a super mm feel. So. And this mojo knob is kind of like a bright versus dark. So just really play around with all these settings. All in all, great transient designer. It's at $50, $50, which really not too bad at all because this thing is absolutely legendary. Coming up next is Fab Filter Pro Q3. And really anyone that produces dance music knows that this is the top tier EQ. And for many reasons as well, because look, you have many options here. You have the multi-band uh, compression here, which is my moment. But the features here are absolutely crazy. And the interface is just super, super, uh, blah, 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 uh, super great to work in. My favorite feature here is if you hover over the spectrum while it's playing, you can see which frequencies are really, really annoying. Now you should use your ears. Yes. But is my moment to not be broken. And if we click on that, is my moment to not be broken, but to... So now we got that frequency out of there. And if we hold down the uh, headphones here, which solos the uh, frequencies. You can just hear that that's so harsh on the ears. And it's nice to do that a lot. And you can really make your sounds a lot cleaner. For $180, it's... Uh, I think you can get away with the stock one, the stock EQ and whatever you use. But if you have the cash, if you have the moolah, grab this piece. So next is Track Spacer, and this is one of my absolute favorite plugins. And what it does, it carves out frequencies of what you sidechain it to. So for this example, I have a vocal here, then underneath of that, there's a guitar. And you guys can see when I use the amount knob, the guitar is gonna get knocked down. So I have this on the guitar uh, channel, as you can see right here. So the more I put the amount, the more the guitar will get knocked down because it clashes with the vocal. So take a look. This is my moment to not be broken. To be open about how I feel. So you can hear that when the vocal's not playing, the guitar comes back up. And also the low cut and high cut features are absolutely unreal because look, you can dial in the frequency. For example, say you wanted to keep some of that low in there, which is not a lot of low in there anyways. Say you wanted to focus on this little area. Is my moment to not be broken, but to be open about how I feel. So this is really an absolute doozy of a plugin. This is one of my favorites. Just the uh, the possibilities of how clean you can get your mixes to sound is really, really great with this. It comes in at 50 bucks, which is not too bad at all. Make sure you use it in the mixing phase of your song. So don't be doing this in the first 10 minutes. You can if you want, I don't care. But use this to make your mixes sound a lot cleaner. 
Up next is Shaper Box 2. And Shaper Box is really a combination of five plugins from Cable Guys. And you guys can see here that it has the time, filter pan, volume, and width. And a lot of these have their own separate thing. And this is priced at 100 bucks, so it's really not too bad because you're getting essential stuff. That's why I love this thing. So you're getting the essential things like filtering, panning. So I have it on this guitar here, and it'll be panning around left and right. You guys can hear. But this is just like a little example of what you guys can do. I, I really can't explain this plugin because there's a million options here. You have the half time, great for side chaining, and I mean unreal for side chaining. You can shape your side chain exactly how you want it to be. And like I said before, this is priced at a hundred bucks, so tsh, go grab this because this is such a slipped on plugin. Next is RC20 Retro Color by XLN Audio. And this one, many of you know this plugin, but it's seriously one of the fav my favorite plugins that you can just get a lot of crazy unique sounds out of it. Most people know how this thing works. You have the noise, wobble, distort, and a bunch of other ones. And I love these section, this section up here, but my favorite thing about this is this bottom section. So you can see that it had, we have the width knob, a tone knob, which can be like a dark, bright, and really does it in like a unique ways too. And we have a filtering or a cut, yeah, filtering section here. And then we have some gain knobs too. Just for a little example, I'll throw a couple presets on the same guitar. I mean, I wouldn't even call this plugin underrated at this point because it's used by so many people and you can throw this on anything to make it sound a lot crispy and just make it sound better overall. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna be giving away one of these plugins and it is RC20. So if you want a chance to win a copy of this amazing plugin, please head on over to my Discord, go join it, go to the giveaway section and you guys can join there. Come join all my homies in my Discord, it's a great time. Next we got Soothe too and this plugin is super good. It'll take away any of those resonant frequencies that you could do by EQing, but, 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 this does it in real time. So you won't have to have that section of the EQ. You won't have to have that down the whole time. It'll automatically find them and it'll only trigger when you need them to. Here we got this vocal here. Is my moment and if we use the Delta button down here, you can really hear what it's doing. Is my moment to not be broken. And it's also a great idea to use some of the amazing presets that come stock here. So if we go to the vocal section, we could do just some of these, clean up a little vocal harshness. Is my moment to not be broken, but to be open. So it's getting a lot of those like scoopy frequencies out of there and a lot of the harsh ones as well. Is my moment to not be broken. Like I said, $220, it's, it's a ton of money. Do you need this thing? Kinda, you don't need it, but it can really make your sounds or mixes sound a lot cleaner. So just something to consider for sure. The final plugin here is called Transgressor 2. And this is basically just a transient designer solely for kicks. And the great thing about it is that you have a transient and sustain section. And you can really dial in the transient of the kick and also the sustain. So I'll go through some of these presets and you guys can kind of hear what it does. You can get your kicks to sound a lot more boomy, or maybe you want to dial back a little bit. But really, this plugin is, it comes in at 150 bucks, which, is it a lot? Kinda. But this plugin is great for really getting your kicks to punch through the mix, and really to get them to the next level. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. Maybe find a couple plugins that you will consider now. Yes, these are not completely necessary, but they can really boost your mix and give it a little more mm. But make sure you go join my Discord, join the giveaway, and also leave a comment and like on the video. If you guys wanna see anything else, please let me know. I'm open to everything. And I hope you guys have an amazing week, amazing weekend, amazing night. Whenever you're watching this, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching.